Tonight, we're learning more details about what happened after an officer involved shooting on the north side. We brought this to you as breaking news yesterday at 6. It happened at Lim Turner Road in I-95, where police were investigating a gang related shooting. Three 18 year olds were arrested. These are their mug shots that you see here between us. On your side, Troy Class joins us live tonight with what happened after police found him. Troy. That's right, Anthony. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says that when an officer flipped on their emergency lights, one of the suspects backed into an unmarked patrol car. The suspects ran away in different directions, but were tracked down and arrested. Three men arrested after an officer involved shooting. Police say Gary Davis, Michael Pratt, and Trey Tavius Martin were in a stolen SUV driving on Lem Turner Circle. One police car stopped in front of the vehicle and turned their emergency lights on. An unmarked police car was following behind the SUV. The suspects backed into the unmarked car, got out, and ran away in different directions, police say. All were eventually caught. Pratt was hiding in a shed and was taken down by a canine officer, according to an arrest report. All three men are facing multiple charges related to the shooting. Officer L.K. Johnson, who fired his weapon one time, is on leave. This is his third officer involved shooting. Crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says veteran police officers may find themselves in a position to use deadly force. No one no one likes taking anybody's life or having to take lethal force and most most law enforcement workers conscious of the fact that they know they may have to use deadly force. Mentally I think it does have a, 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 a oh no, it eventually could have an all an impact on you. Not everybody, but potentially Johnson's other two officer involved shootings were ruled justified by the state attorney's office. Now all three of those suspects will have second hearings on the charges stemming from this crime. Those hearings are set for dates in January. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.